welcome again to my channel. In this tutorial, we will cover the difference uh, between start and update function. And I will show you an example on how to put some force in the game object. Hit on add component and then click on new script or you can name anything that you like. Then click add and you can see here Unity as a new component and that's because uh, script in Unity are pretty much custom components that we can get to tell what we want to do. So double click this script to open it in Visual Studio. So this is what the script looks like. There is a lot of things here and I will just delete these two lines here. The only thing that you should focus is these two functions where it says void start and void update. So let's have a look at the start function here. So what is a start function? Start function is called on the frame when the script is enabled just before uh, any of the update method is called for the first time. So uh, basically start is called exactly once in a lifetime of the script. That means that uh, whatever code you put between these curly brackets here is going to be executed when you start the game. Uh, so now we write debug.log then we open up a parenthesis and it automatically close and in between these two quotation marks we get to write a message so here I will just write um, hello then end this line with a semicolon now save this by hitting ctrl s head back to the unity and click play so you can see nothing happens in our game view but check on our console panel. You can see that it is now says hello. So now what happens if you put this line under the update function? The update is a function in the unity that is called for every frame. Any script inside the update function will be executed once in every frame. Now let's head back to unity and hit play. You can see here that the message will appear continuously. Now let's focus on adding the force on this game object. Well, to do that, we need to first reference this rigid body component. So in our script, above our function, we write public rigid body rb then semicolon. Now when we head to the unity, we should see an empty slot here with the name of rb. So take our rigid body and drag it into this slot. If your game object doesn't have any rigid body component, you can simply add the component from here. So type rigid body, yes. So whenever we write RB in our script, it's going to refer to this particular rigid body. So to add a force to a rigid body, we will use the function of add force. So in the bracket, float x, float y, and float z. And the force is applied continuously along the direction of force vector. So x is equal to the size of force along the world of x axis, y along the world of y axis, and z is along the world of z axis. So we want the cube to move along this plane here. So we need to give a uh, zero force on the x axis, zero force on the y axis, but some force on the z axis. So you can refer this to this arrow here. Save this and go back to Unity. And when we hit play, we should see a force is applied to the z axis. Now we don't want to add the force only at the beginning, but we want to add a constant force. So to do that, we need to put this command under our update function so that the function is going to run multiple times a second so it will be constant. So let's save and go back to Unity and hit play. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!